We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for you. In this video, we are going to paint this Incarn model. We're going to do a paint scheme pretty similar to the traditional box art, but it's going to be kind of my own take on how to achieve that color scheme. There's going to be some slight variations. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave them down below in the comments. Now this model has been prepped by being primed black and then I went ahead and sprayed it with a very thin coat of black paint just to prep the mini. The first step is going to be to paint the armor and we kind of want to do a reddish purple armor. We're going to begin by using the color Nagaroth Knight. Now you can go ahead and mix this with some Lamian Medium and apply it over all of the armor. In my case, I'm going to go ahead and mix the paint up and put it in my airbrush and just quickly spray it over all the armored areas. Now I'm doing the armor first so that I can be a little bit sloppy with my airbrushing. I just want to get this all over the mini. I'm going to slowly rotate the model as I spray kind of going at a 45 degree angle and doing quick slow bursts of paint. I don't want too much paint to go onto the model too soon. I just want to build up the color slowly, make sure that I get all of the sides and the armor. I'm going to do a couple thin coats to really build up that rich purple color. But since I'm doing this step first, I can overspray on any of the other areas without worrying about it making too much of a problem later. So really my concern is just making sure that I get all of the armor and not necessarily worrying about the rest of the mini. Our next color is going to be Screamer Pink. Now my Screamer Pink bottle is pretty dirty just from being in the line of fire of my airbrush but I promise that's what's inside the paint. This is another color that doesn't have a Citadel Air equivalent so I went ahead and mixed it myself. I picked this shade because I really want to create a very purpley maroon armor instead of doing just a traditional violet purple. We're going to make it a lot warmer and we're going to put more red into it. Now depending on how you mix your airbrush paint, this next step may not be necessary for you. I mixed mine very thin so that when I sprayed it, it didn't quite create a super opaque layer over the top of the dark purple. And I did that intentionally so that I could have a really smooth shade. However, once I finished with my airbrushing, I want to go back with a traditional wet brush and pick out the areas where I want that Screamer Pink color to be super opaque and super bright. That's mainly going to be all of the areas where the light's gonna hit and all the areas that I want to be the brightest. On this mini, it's going to be the top of the chest the top of the shoulders, and then I want to highlight the top of some of these round muscly areas, like the bicep and the calf, the top of the knee, areas like that, where I'm going to start shaping my highest highlights. For our next highlight, we're going to take Pink Horror, and we're going to mix it into our Screamer Pink about 50-50. And we're going to continue to exaggerate the top areas of the armor. We're going to pick out the sharp lines of the breastplate and add another level of brightness to the top of the muscles. I also want to make sure that all of these areas where this electrical storm is leaving the body are super bright because they would have the glowing of that energy storm lighting up the armor as well. So all of those areas are going to be a little bit brighter than the rest of the armor. This model has a lot of really smooth rounded curves and there's just a few areas where there are sharp lines on the armor plates. So I really want to make sure that I catch the edges of those and that's specifically the shoulder pad and where the plates on the thighs are sculpted. All right, after we finish with that 50-50 mixture, we're going to take some pure pink horror and we're gonna mix it with a little bit of Lamian Medium. We just wanna make sure that we've got a really smooth 
consistency to our paint and it doesn't go on too thick and it doesn't create any texture anywhere. We didn't have to do that with any of our previous steps because I was just using the paint that I had already mixed for my airbrush. So it had a little bit of medium in it already. There's not really any surprises to where I'm applying this paint. I'm putting it on all of the same areas that I just highlighted with that 50-50 mixture. Just being more selective about it and placing it closer to the area where I want the most brightness. So that would be all of the areas where the sun would be hitting it the most and all of the areas where this electrical storm would be lighting it up the most. The last step is to darken our shadows even more. We're going to be using the color Druchi Violet. I'm using Druchi Violet instead of Carolberg Crimson because I want my shadows to remain that dark purple even though my highlights have gone more red. And we're just going to apply this in all of the areas that we want to have a little bit deeper shadow. We're using it to make the rounded areas on the legs and the arm muscles look even rounder by making the lower areas darker. We're using it to accentuate some of these sculpted little holes and interesting detail where the armor transitions into the electrical storm and really just anywhere that we feel like needs a little bit more depth. And after that Druchi Violet has dried, the reddish purple armor on this Yincarne model is complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I'm going to paint the electrical storm surrounding this Yincarne model in the mini Wargaming Vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a Vault membership, you can go ahead and click the link, sign up for a seven day free trial, and get access to my video as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini Wargaming Vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial, and happy Wargaming.